Anywhere where bicyclists share the road with drivers, accidents can happen. Data shows that in 2020, 157 bicycle injuries occurred in Orleans Parish and six people died. Jefferson Parish had 75 bike related injuries and three people died. So far this year, Orleans Parish still has a high number of traffic accidents with 81 bike injuries and five deaths. Meanwhile, Jefferson Parish has reported 38 injuries. Several cycling groups will rally together this morning to promote safer streets in New Orleans. The Ride for Our Lives rally will be taking place at 1045 at Duncan Plaza. Joining us now to discuss the event in more detail is Dwan Adams and Zena Harris. Uh, first off, briefly just explain to us how you guys are involved in the Ride for Our Lives rally. Hi, good morning. Thanks for having us. My name is Dwan. And I'm one of the organizers and also one of the founders of your mom and M cycling club here. Good morning. I'm Zena Harris and we're excited about today. Um, both of our roles are inclusive of a multifaceted of duties here. I'm serving as the MC this morning at the event uh, and Dewan is also um, serving um, as one of the ride leaders and to be riding during the ride and just throughout the organizing of the whole event while we're on site as well. Yeah, and take us through what this event entails here. I know that there's gonna be a unity ride at noon, but what are you guys gonna be talking about earlier? So starting out the program, come and join us 1030 at Duncan Plaza City Hall. We'll have a lot of different people from our community that are speaking about their experiences riding on the road, talking about the what happens with our environment, thinking about protected bike lanes and how does that affect all of us here. And we're even gonna have different musicians from around town that's gonna take part in our procession and people from all over, bike groups from all over Louisiana will join us and it should be a really cool event to check out. I don't think I've ever seen all these cyclists together. No, I don't think so either. And, and just tell us a little bit more about the inspiration behind today's event. So today is really, you know, all of us has had that time on the road where you felt a little bit unsafe or even, you know, someone, there's too many senseless deaths or you hear about people in a crash or dying from riding your bike. And it shouldn't be like that just to ride a bike. Yes, yeah, so we're asking for more protected street lanes, for more respect on the street, for our leaders to help us get the word out and also fulfill the promises that were made for at least 75 miles of protected bike lanes. Um, some of the drivers on the street are um, very rude, but of course there are also some very nice drivers. You know, as we ride sometimes, we could come across the most rudest people, but then right after that, we'll come across someone who is very courteous and nice. So there's some good people out there, but there we need a lot yeah. more and, and, I, and I think drivers and cyclists can agree that maybe keeping bicyclists separated from the street is probably the answer. And that's where this protected bike lanes idea comes into effect, right? Exactly. Right. We know that there are more people who'd love to get out and ride, but sometimes they don't feel safe. And having that minor barrier there that just helps to sort of create that division, help cyclists know where they can go, walkers, people who are using, utilizing the streets, as well as vehicles knowing how to maintain their lane as well. So it's really, you know, the idea of protective bike lanes, and it's time to use our voices. Hold our lawmakers, we're taxpaying citizens, to be accountable for the things that they promised to us. And we've only got about 30 seconds left here, but I, I do wanna ask you, if you had the city's ear right now, what would you, what would you tell city leaders on trying to further this, uh, this, uh, this issue here and trying to get some more, uh, trying to solve this problem? Protected bike lanes, <laughs> you know, and really using the community's voice and thinking about how people, how all citizens utilize the streets. Complete streets are for everyone and everyone should be a part of that conversation. Not only lawmakers sitting around in a conference room, but listen to what the community is talking about. And that's what's happening today. This is an opportunity for people to come out and use their voice and talk about what's important to them and be a part of the conversation. Well, thank you right. guys so much for, for joining us. I really appreciate it. We've, we've got to cut you short here. I got to get over to Michelle Morgan, but we appreciate it. That ride for our lives rally, 1045 Duncan Plaza, if you want to join. Yes, thank you.